The Van Island is one of the 21 islands located at the southern tip of Gulf of Mannar Marine National Park on the southeastern coast of India. Along with the other islands, it plays a critical role in protecting the coast from physical disturbances like erosion and protect coastal people from natural calamities like cyclones and tsunami. They harbor, sustain and support the unique island ecosystems which have rich biodiversity encompassing coral reefs, seagrass beds, mangroves and many other marine life. Apart from being the feeding grounds for a host of bird species, they also act as places of shelter to the fishermen during rough seasons or during boat breakdown. Due to anthropogenic activities and impacts of global warming, these islands are on the verge of submerging. Repeated disturbances in the seafloor by destructive fishing practices, waves, currents and global climate variations are some of the other factors that are adding to its further erosion. An integrated initiative including multi-purpose artificial reef deployment and coral rehabilitation project was undertaken by the governments through Sugandhi Devadasan Marine Research Institute to protect the Van Island. This is the first attempt in India to preserve and restore a sinking island. Based on the experience of SDMRI on artificial reefs for biodiversity enhancement, the multi-purpose artificial module design focusing protection and biodiversity enhancement was finalized. For this, the Indian Institute of Technology Madras conducted wave dynamic and bathymetry studies. With their support, the design of artificial reefs was finalized and locations were identified for deploying artificial reef modules. Based on the wave dynamic study, a total of 10,600 artificial reef modules were deployed in two layers under the guidance of the SDMRI team. The concrete reefs have been deployed about 200 meters from the island in a semicircular constellation following the contour line. Deployment of artificial reefs parallel to the sinking island in the seaward side not only reduce the effect of currents and waves, but also enhances fish habitats for higher fish production. Natural corals get attached to artificial reefs over time and start regeneration. On the other side of the island, the successful low-tech and low-cost coral transplantation technique, standardized by Sugandhi Devadasan Marine Research Institute, was followed for coral rehabilitation. At various stages of restoration, inspections were conducted by the officials and experts. Regular monthly monitoring is being carried out to assess the shoreline changes, biodiversity and fish production. These intervention measures have started to generate results. The concrete reefs that have been deployed under this initiative has helped prevent further erosion and led to an increase in Van Island surface area. This integrated approach of artificial reef deployment and coral rehabilitation has successfully brought back the Van Island from the brink of submergence.